What's up everyone, my name is Dakota Dean. I am a spray paint and stencil artist from Seattle, Washington, and I am coming at you live. This isn't live. I am coming at you before the fact, and then, or after the fact. I am coming at you later than the time that I filmed this. Y'all wanna make some art? Let's make some art. I got this design I was working on when I was bored. Wonder why I'm bored. Oh yeah, it's cause I can't leave the house. Anyways, got this design all made up. It's dope, thought it would be awesome to turn it into a stencil, paint it on a canvas, get some collage action going on and make a dope piece. So let's go down to my shop and let's make that painting. supplies ready. First step, gotta collage the canvas. So we're gonna take these news articles here. We're gonna shred these up a little bit, give them a little bit of uh, jagged edges, and then we're going to glue them down to this canvas. how people film top down. It's like, the camera's like right against the roof. Tripod's jamming against the wall. Top down filming feels like the pinnacle of YouTube engineering. Okay, all right, I think I got it. Crap! <laughs> Plan B, no top down recording. <laughs> All right, everyone. So because I'm doing like a dual collage, I'm gonna have to do a thin layer of transparent black paint to kind of dull the detail in the background and get that white a little bit muted. After I do that, I'm gonna have to put the big white circle here that kind of goes behind the girl's head. And then we'll do a clear coat on top of all of it to seal. And then the canvas will be ready for paint. Ugh. Moving the canvas. All right, so the chances of me messing this up, pretty high, I feel like. But I hope I don't, because there's no eraser tool at this point. If I uh, get this black paint on there too thickly and cover too much of the collage, I'm gonna have to re-collage it at that point. I can't just like wipe off the black paint. It's uh, permanent. So we're gonna give it our best shot and we'll see how, uh, see how it goes from there. Fingers crossed. All right guys, I will be honest, I do not know if that worked the way I want. I think it's close enough. What happened when I started spraying is the cap was a little clogged and it started getting big globby black spots all over the canvas. So what I did is I finished the coat real quick, then I went and threw some uh, acrylic medium on the canvas before those spatters dried and I just smeared it around to try to thin out some of those spots. We'll have to see if I did it quick enough to actually absorb the paint. I think it's gonna be all right though. I think we saved the day. 
So the clear coat trick seems to have worked. The canvas looks great. It is going to take a while to dry. So while it does, I figured I'd come up here and there's two other things we can work on in the meantime. One, we gotta print out the moon for the collage. And two, I'm gonna get working on cutting out all the stencils we're gonna need for the final painting. So I'm gonna get working on that. Alrighty, so kind of how I'm gonna do this is, uh, you can see I've just got the design here. So if I take the design off, this is my circle. So I can print this to scale 24 by 36. I can just take it down, cut it, and uh, I'll have my moon. All right, let's send it to the printer. The first step, turn it on. Wait for it, wait for the noise. This is my favorite part. Oh. You hear it purring? Ooh. And there it is. Bam! Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna use a little trick. Because I'm lazy, I am going to leave it attached to this paper by like two little tiny points. Then I can kind of just line this paper up on the canvas, pop it off the paper, and then it'll stick in place exactly where it needs to be. Hopefully that works out well, let's see. See that? Just kind of barely connected. Should be good to go. Let's give it a try. Want to see how it dried? Bam. Smooth. All right, so I got my color palette chosen. Um, I used the same color palettes for almost all of my artwork, so this should be pretty easy. So anyways, I'm gonna get started with proofing. I'm gonna throw on that respirator and just start painting. Proofing is the last step in the process before we actually start putting paint on the canvas. The purpose is to test the stencil on a normal piece of paper. That way I know everything works perfectly before we put the paint on the canvas.
Hey, so did I tell you guys I have a website, artbydakotadean.com, and on that website you can buy t-shirts, and you can buy stickers, and I think dope skateboards, so you can get your, your shred shred on, and I have prints of all of my art at whatever size you want, which is pretty cool. Go to my website, uh, artbydakotadean.com, and uh, you know, deck your pad out. Yeah, okay, thanks, bye. You guys, this proof turned out perfect. First try, one of the easiest proofs I've ever done, which means it's time to paint this on the canvas. Good afternoon, friends, YouTube viewers, random internet strangers. I am ready to get started on the final phase. Uh, not sure if you guys know about SodaStream. Y'all don't know about SodaStream. You need to get up on that. Anyways, after I eat some of these here Doritos, we're gonna get to work and get this painting finished. Bam! But before we do that, just wanted to take a minute to remind y'all to subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button so that the YouTube algorithm's all like, hey Dakota, your stuff seems cool. We're gonna show it to other people. Ring the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. Leave a comment to show some love. Let's get back to the video. So I just wrapped up the painting. Y'all ready to see the finished art? You guys, I am super stoked on this painting. I think it turned out so freaking good and I can't wait to hang it somewhere once all of this is over put it up on a wall in a public space where people are all allowed to come together and look at art again as a group oh, that'll be freaking awesome I can't wait that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching I appreciate it if you want to check out my patreon or my website links are in the description below I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment and tell us all what kind of creative projects you've been keeping yourself busy with. Make sure you do the YouTube algorithm things. Stay safe and maintain some social distance. And I will see you in the next video.